Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How y'all doing today? Um, we got another special video for you guys today. Uh, it is mod related, but it should be uh, pretty interesting for you guys. So if you remember uh, in one of my older videos back in Halo 2, uh, for Halo 2 PC, I made this video like maybe a few months ago. Uh, I'm using a pretty simple uh, biped swap mop mod, <laughs> not mop, my bad. Um, we, uh, I, I was able to show you guys what the grave mine actually looked like in Halo 2, as in like his whole body, not just his face and mouth, but like all of it. You know, um, at the time, you know, I was pointing out like uh, that you know, a lot of you might have wondered what the grave mine looked like below the waist, and <laughs> uh, I was able to show you guys uh, for the most part uh, what it, he looked like. So I'm showing you guys the clip again here, just as a refresher in case you never saw my video from back then. But that is what the Grave Mine fully looks like in Halo 2 from top to bottom. Now, in Halo 3, uh, we've I've always wondered the same thing because we've seen the Grave Mine's tentacles on a couple occasions uh, during the Covenant and on High Charity, uh, but only in cutscenes, never in gameplay. So I was wondering, what does he actually look like? below the tentacles. What are the tentacles attached to? So I thought I'd uh, do a little mod where you could fly around in theater mode during the cutscene. And we are going to investigate that right about now. So this is the cutscene where um, on the Covenant near the end where Chief, not Chief, Arbiter stabs the Prophet of Truth and kills him. And then after that the Gravevine te tentacles come up. And here they are. So now for the moment of truth. Where are they coming from? What are they attached to? What does the Gravevine in Halo 3 actually look like? And... <laughs> he is... nothing. The tentacles, they, uh, they aren't attached to anything. It's interesting, the, the base of the tentacles, the bottom, is actually like textured and everything. Like, you know, it's actually quite detailed, as you can see but unfortunately they are not attached to anything so if you ever wondered what's down there during the cutscene you know like some hidden grave mine model or whatever well unfortunately at least on the cutscene on the covenant the grave mine is well nothing it's not like in Halo 2 where they actually modeled quite a bit of the grave mine's base or like his body they didn't show everything in Halo 2 but you know they they had quite a bit of detail in Halo 2, but unfortunately in Halo 3, it's only it's only the tentacles on a Covenant. You know, you see several tentacles, but they're oh, they're all just floating um, when you pan the camera uh, a little bit out. Tentacles aren't even solid either. They're they're just you know scripted objects for cutscene use only. So it's pretty unfortunate, but you know that's basically what they are in Halo 3 on the Covenant at least. Now you may be wondering um, what about High Charity? Well, not High Charity, uh, the Mission Cortana. At the end we also uh, see a little bit of the Great Vines tentacles again. Is it attached to anything this time? Or is it just floating again? Well let's take a quick look. So here's the cutscene. Uh, Chief is about to fly away in the Pelican and there you have it the first tentacle is already popping out and what's interesting is it's actually coming out from the ground and that was the first tentacle from the cutscene where it tries to grab the pelican there's a second one right here that just spawned interestingly it actually spawned in the water kind of like not in the water it, it comes from the top but it's kind of like hanging down into the water at the moment uh, so you can kind of see part of it. It is going through the ground because you know it's not solid. But uh, if I, um, yeah, it's the best view I can get of it in the water. But you know, it's n nothing really special about it. But if I resume slowly, it just flings up and it's going for the pelican, of course. Interestingly, it actually does go through the pelican a little bit, uh, but. Yeah, so same thing with the other tentacle. This one comes through the wall just a little bit lower. Uh, so it is attached to something this time. Technically, it's attached to the wall. <laughs> but you still don't see the Gravevine's body anywhere. So as a lot of you probably suspected, 
the Grave Mine does not have a model in Halo 3. Uh, all the times you see his tentacles, they are just either floating or they come out of nowhere. But yeah, so hope that ends a lot of your curiosities. The <laughs> kind of might have like ruined what you imagine Grave Mine looks like, but that's what he is in Halo 3. So yeah, I hope you guys did find this to be pretty interesting and informative, I guess. Um, if you guys want to see me do like a lot of behind the scenes of cutscenes, like you know, like I'm flying around in theater mode, showing you like what the cutscenes look like, a little bit behind the scenes, literally. Uh, you know, I think I was thinking of doing it for like all the cutscenes, all the, most of the Halo games or the ones I can. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing that, I, I'll try to tackle it. It's a bit of work, but uh, you know, just let me know in the comments if you want to see it. But other than that, you know, just make sure to leave a like for this video if you uh, found it interesting and. As always, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.